let's come back in here and I'm actually going to go to our baked texture here and copy it from illuminance and turn off the luminance and put it in the color channel and hit render now and of course it doesn't match because now it's in a color channel but there's a few things we can do for that uh, we can uh, add GI to the scene and add a sky object and I think let me uh, add a compositing tag to here real quick to our uh, pieces and just make it compositing background and push play okay let's do a quick render alright gonna play a little further through do a quick render again alright it's looking pretty interesting Again, this uh, really comes down to, well, it can come down to a lot of tweaking to get a uh, desired effect that you want to play that. So it's a lot more movement on the y-axis there. Really kicking up those pieces and a bit much for my taste. Okay, another thing we can do... Um, we don't want to use this compositing uh, background on the uh, fracture pieces. We can turn that off or delete it. And again, we get back to that all black problem. But you can add, as I was saying before, you can just add a sky object in here. Let's create a luminance material. So click the luminance channel here. Drop this onto the sky object. Give a compositing tag to the sky object so the white is not seen by camera. And let's add a GI in here. So let's get some global illumination. We'll leave it on still image for now just for checking out the uh, viewport renderings. And let's push play. That's doing its thing. Okay, let's just stop it there and do a quick render. Of course, it'll take a bit longer with the GI. And actually going to add ambulant occlusion here to lower these settings a lot. I'm not going to make this pure black. We'll give it uh, closer to a gray and bring the contrast down some. And for this floor object, I'm going to add a compositing tag to that. And turn that... Well, actually, I won't turn that off. I'm just going to slide that. So let's come back into a viewport we can see here. And just drag the floor object. Okay. Let's watch it play through again. If I had the uh, background visible, uh, it, it wouldn't play this smoothly because it'd have to play that image sequence. Take a quick look at this. All right. And for the uh, floor object, I'm going to add a texture to that. Turn off specular and I'm going to grab kind of a dark brown. Just drop that on the floor. Let's play this again here. Another render. Alright, that's looking pretty cool. 
fairly close to my example. And again, you can uh, play a lot with the settings in the plane effector, and of course, also, you can uh, toy a lot with uh, dynamic settings and mass and force and collision settings and all that stuff. But for the basic effect, I just wanted to show you how to do it, and I'll let you guys tweak that as much as you like. All right, it's pretty cool, and um, you know, there's lots of different things you can use with uh, this baking texture technique, which I'll get into a little bit later. And uh, also, you could, um, for say the concrete texture, you could um, add some displacement to it, and could uh, even animate the displacement so you can get a bit of a, a rougher edges around these cracks. And I believe that uh, there's another plugin. I believe it's a thar thesaurus. I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not exactly sure. Tosaurus, I'm not exactly sure. I think it was formerly Xbreaker. And I think that has a noise setting for your actual fractured, so that would probably give you a bit more realistic look. I just really enjoy working with the Explode plugin. All right, and I think for the actual rendering, I'm going to turn uh, the GI off since we would have to use uh, the full full settings in that since we have the camera moving along with pieces animating as well. So. Let's just go back in here and turn the GI off. I'm going to up the anti-aliasing here to best animation and max level. I'll just do a 2x2. Two two. Close that. And let's go back to... We can push render real quick here. And you can see you have that same problem again. So what I'm going to do here is add a compositing tag back on here, click the compositing background, and now let's do a quick render there. Alright, so we're going to render it like this and save a whole lot of time. Let it play through a bit more here, let it finish up, and you can see everything's attached to this match move, so everything's staying in place, which is very cool. Take another look at it. All right, looks good. So let's go ahead and save uh, incrementally. All right, and come into our render settings here. And I'll just keep it as a TIFF, that's fine. I'll just keep it 8-bit for now. It is going to be an alpha channel, and we'll make it straight. And let's find a place where you want to save this away at. And let's see, let's go into here. I'm going to make another folder called Renders. And I will name this Cracked Ground. Let's go to our output tab to make sure, and we'll go ahead and click all frames, which would be 225. Okay, that looks good. We have no fields. Let's close this out. Okay, now we're ready to uh, render this away, and we'll put it together in After Effects, and we will also put it together in uh, Nuke. Uh, the compositing side for this, we're not going to do much to it really. We're just going to kind of uh, just add it together and just do a, a very light roto possibly um, but there's plenty of things you could do to really enhance this scene um, such as let's render that real quick uh, such as you know you could have animate cracks along the ground not just in the place it's moving so you could do that you could um add some camera shake to the entire thing uh, you could uh, maybe set this truck on fire you know have some of these buildings crumble apart uh, there's a whole lot you could do to really sell the effect. You could have uh, dust and smoke kind of um, coming from where the cracks are happening, so you could have that. You could do that inside Cinema 4D, or you could uh, potentially even do that in After Effects as a post effect. Um, but yeah, so there's lots of different things you could do to really fi uh, finalize this uh, shot, and I'm curious to see your guys' examples. Um, but at this point, we're ready to render. So I'm going to turn off the background, because you just want to render this piece. Okay, and 
Let's go ahead and render this away. Let that do its thing, and you can see we're just rendering just a background an image or in the uh, alpha. And I will see you guys soon in After Effects.